Welcome back, everybody, to your day number two of SEA League Group Stage Action. Tomorrow, the quarterfinals begin, but we're not done yet. We have two more group stage games for you here today over on Beyond the Summit. There are definitely other streams which you can Ten check out. I made a Reddit remaining. post with links to all of them. If you want other languages or different games, it's Five all available there. Remaining. But nonetheless, you're here watching Beyond the Summit. We're going to introduce this game very quickly. Pacific Esports, the SMM champions, four or five-time GST IDC champions. I can't remember exactly what. I think it's five. I'm not positive though last year they are definitely the best dota one team from the philippines but they have struggled at least from what we saw here today in dota 2 so far let's see if they can pick up the pace because they're gonna have to they're up against msi evo gt tnc a merger of msi evo gt the dota one team uh, which competed and had a lot of success in the gst idc as well as tnc which is by far the most uh, experienced and Radiant really team. has gotten the best results as a Dota 2 team. This new rosters look pretty good. They qualified. They had to do it the hard way. Pacific Esports, I believe, was invited. Uh, and so with all that being said, guys, as far as our group standings go, currently uh, Pacific Emacs, I believe, is 0-1, I want to say. I'm actually not positive. Uh, it looks like all the results haven't been entered onto the website yet. So anyway, with all that being said, uh, looks like the site is saying each of them are one remaining. and one, but that can't be right because we already saw Pacific Esports Five struggle remaining. earlier today. So they're one and one. Oh, no, sorry. They're both one and one. Both teams are one and one. So actually, the winner of this game moves on and the loser gets knocked out. All right. I got the story straight. Sorry it took me so long. Anyway, I'm LD. I'm joined here by Winter. Winter, sorry for the monologue. I'm not joined here by Winter. Winter. Hello. All right, I guess Winter's not oops, here. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> I'm, I muted my mic, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. so basically the winner of this game makes it to the playoffs. The loser goes home. Yeah, and we are going to see the same opening again from MSI Evo. The Shadow Demon pick up on the first phase. Oh, that's as first pick. It's mo looking like they made... Well, they actually banned the Keeper of the Light. So they get the best counter to the Life Stealer in the Shadow Demon. Then they pick... Uh, then they pick it up, and let's see what they do with the third pick. Most likely, we'll see them go for that solo mid here. What else is still in the pool? Uh, there's a lot of things still in the pool. Like uh, <laughs> Phantom Lancer, remaining. but it seems like no one's favoring the Phantom Lancer Five anymore. Seconds remaining. Oh, on the last few just... games. Reserve. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you wanted to say something. <laughs> No, just making sure we're not running any more commercials. Guys, sorry if there were any playing, but they should be off now, so my apologies for that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so what are they going to go for with this last pick? We've seen MSI, they they really like their Magnus, but they don't get it this game. We saw them first picking it in the qualifier, we saw them taking it second and third pick. Uh, they really like their five-man Dota, but they don't really pick any heroes that go for five-man that well in They're this particular game. Puck in the pool, which they be, the, all the Pinoy teams like to pick it up. Invoker. Oh, Invoker. Dire team uh, who is the Invoker player here? I think it's Iwi. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Iwi. Jesse Vash is the offlane, Ryo is the carry, and then Cast and Kima are the two supports. So it should be Iwi playing this. He was the Queen of Pain for them. I think this is the first time we've seen MSI Evo picked up the Invoker. Oh, is it, if it's anything like the Bimbo Invoker, we're in for a treat. I haven't seen Iwi play this before, actually. He's been on oh, a... Oh, Pacific. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, they did. And he's great against... We, we've talked about it before. He's great against Lifestealer. Uh, yeah. He is weak in the, a little bit weak in the laning stage if they go offensive tri-lane, but I'm not really sure they will. They don't really have a... I guess if they got something like a Lina... Actually, they could. If they get something like a Lina or Lashrak to combo with the Shadow Demon Lifestealer. Uh, yeah, they definitely need the burst damage from Lina or Lashrak. And you can see Pacific already shown. This is one of the few things I don't like to do when I draft. When I show all my card on my all my, of all my lanes, they are just basically saying, "Okay, this is our lanes. Remaining. How are you going to deal with it? Everything is not reversible Five anymore. This all these heroes are all not so interchangeable in other with other roles. So it's I definitely going to mid, be a mid lane queen of pain, Magnus off lane, and a Phantom Lancer on a safe lane." And MSI Evo can have all the time in the world now to just think of something to go to how to deal with the lanes and all the planning planning stage of their heroes. I really think it should be that offensive tri lane, especially when you have the Invoker, you have that Sunstrike capability, and you've got Soul Catcher, you've got plenty of setup uh, for whatever you go for, like Lena or Lashrag. I, I don't know about the Sunstrike. <laughs> I, I don't think, I think they it's would. pretty legit. 
You don't like it? It certainly works. No, it, it certainly it, works for like, Mineski. It's not a P9 thing. Uh, or no, it wasn't more. Mineski. Who was it? Who ran it in the qualifier? Hmm. Uh, the uh, QMX. 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 Yeah. It really worked though. I, I mean, I think if we'll see. Like you said, it's not it's not really something they favor. But again, remember, MSI doesn't really play like your standard Pinoy teams. And in fact, oh, yes, yes, yes. I, we have I to keep that forgot. in mind. <laughs> MSI is always a Pinoy team, but not a Pinoy style. <laughs> and until it comes to the end of the game, then they'll give all their shout outs if they've won. Undying is the ban. This really suggests they want to go offensive try lane. Yeah. I think they are going to go offensive trial lane with the lead now on that shot, like you mentioned. And surprising, and, uh, Pacific is not banned either of those. If I'm Pacific, I'll be very worried if MSI gets a lead now on that shot. Well, they did ban Sankey, who can fill a similar role. I feel like Lina or Leshrac is the better choice, but he can provide that secondary stun. Uh, oh boy, we saw and, some shenanigans yesterday with the, the Woots. The Woot Sand King missing uh, a lot of stuns. We're not going to see that here, but we could see a lot of missed stuns from the Lina. Even Ice was missing a lot of stuns with his I think it could, it could or no, be like what you mentioned, the Exalt is all good because of the setups they have. Yeah, and Lash Rock. Very expected. But I, I would prefer the, the Lina over the Lash Rock in this situation because Lina just provides the, the Laguna Blade. It's good to deal with the Queen of Pain. And especially with Soulcatcher. It's just so much burst. Lash Rack, yeah. a little bit better as a pushing hero. Uh, and if and you want to play Mr. Semi-Carry, better. it's better, but he's not going to be there. Skill, yeah, Leshrac skills better in the mid-game because of the Edict and his Pulse Nova. It's a, more of a 4.5 real cat supporter because he requires a lot of farm. Ten seconds remaining. And let's see what they go for as their Five last carry remaining. this game for MSI. They most likely are going to run three carries or at least semi-carries. Maybe something like That's a Windrunner for the, yeah. uh, either the Windrunner, mid lane or the safe lane. Wind, Windrunner or Puck, I think. Oh, because Puck could be very perfect. good. Yeah, th those are the things that they prefer. I, I th the Windrunner will do, be able to zone the Magnus oh, there, out there, of the there's lane. one more hero as well. <laughs> I hope they pick it up. Shadow Fin. <laughs> oh, if they pull him some early regen, he can... We saw we saw Zhou uh, just absolutely destroy a Magnus uh, in that yeah. safe lane with some pulled regen in the G but League. If, but, if, but if it's a Chinese team, I wouldn't be surprised if they pick up an anti mage here, but it's not Five a Chinese team, so remaining. I don't... anti mage is actually pretty much very good here as well. Mm -hmm. You can deal with a solo lane, and Reserve because you're applying up. pressure to the Phantom Lancer with an aggressive tri lane, and your anti mage can dominate the lane, it will, it will turn up really strong during the mid phase. And Pacific, they needed that. They need that range support here, and there's just not many options left. But before they pick that, it's going to be time for TNC to reveal their other solo, and it's going to be oh, a gyrocopter. Gyro. Yeah, gyro is very good against those illusions. Oh, we saw him just destroy a tide hunter yesterday, and Magnus can live a bit better just because he has skewer, but he will also get zoned out of the lane quite hard by the rocket barrage. Uh, if he if he ever falls behind, he's just absolutely screwed. You, you know, I think that there's, there might be a bit of a change in the lane. They could possibly throw the Gyro with the tri lane. Gyro, Shadow Demon, oh, and Lash Rock. And the Life Stealer. The, the homing missile into the disruption. Ten seconds remaining. And the, the Life Stealer will do, yeah, Life Stealer will do really well against the Magnus as well. Five seconds they could remaining. do something like that. It re it's such a good combo. And again, a hero that has burst damage <laughs> with Soul Catcher. It's always going to be effective. But I'm worried for Pacific. They don't have any good range supports anymore. Yeah, maybe VS. That's what I just just what we were talking about is who do they go for? There's there's almost no VS is really not what you want they against have to the aggressive tri lane. She there's she's nothing. so bad against aggressive tri lanes though. Am I missing any supports? Is there anyone else? Mm, Let me see. There's probably someone else. Venomancer. Oh, Venom. Yeah, yeah Venomancer. But even then, I mean, it's not it's not ideal. And that, that Gale can be useless against Lifestealer if he gets his Rage off at the right time. Oh, and they no, go for a one, Lich. This one is long forgotten, long forgotten support. Mm. Jesse Vash on the Invoker. Oh, are they... Do they have something weird planned? He normally goes off lane, or is he just their Invoker player? We're going to find uh, out I in think a second. It, I think it's normal for Jesse Vash to play the Invoker. Oh, because, he's going Sunstrike build. Be, 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 because they're going for the aggressive tri lane. So if you're the off laner... You you rotate to the safe lane. I told you, Winter. I told you. Oh, Sunstrike. Sunstrike, Sunstrike build. Yes, baby. Oh, that's no. what I'm Gyro, about. Gyro is mid lane, and oh. that's a bit of unexpected. Well, it's, it's Ewi going there, so I guess it makes more sense. So let's introduce the players on the side of MSI, Evo GT, TNC. 
or MSITNC as I like to call them. We have the gyrocopter being played by Ewi. He's going mid, he's rushing the bottle. Safe lane, Jesse Vash. Gonna be on that invoker, going for the exhort build. Sun strikes to come out shortly. Ryo, the hard carry player on the life there. Cast, the captain, uh, is gonna be played in the Shrek. Has a pair of sentries, and Kimo, the former captain of MSI Evo GT, now the support player, is gonna be playing the Shadow Demon. Hmm, and I, it's pretty much I didn't expect this sort of landings, but for Pacific we have Tan Pahug on the Phantom Lancer. Oh, uh, this is Jotan. Hard. Jotan. Oh, Jotan. Okay, Jotan on the Phantom Lancer. We have Dawn on the Lich King. NMA on the Earthshaker. Chin on the Magnus, which is going to be mid lane. Oh, this is a, this is also weird from Pacific. Mid lane Magnus and off lane Queen of Pain from Biobus. Oh, Biobus. He's going to get that off, off lane Queen of Pain against the Invoker. The battle Good thing I Invoker think is they, the safe I lane. I think they kind of know their lanes and they, they, they know if they either put the Magnus against one of the heroes of Invoker or the gyro, he's gonna have a hard time in the bottom lane too. Yeah, I think this is very smart. And also, Biobus is quite comfortable playing that solo off lane. And this, this is developed. He has this an is, illusion rune. Oh, he's gonna it's be able gonna to help block the creeps and also last hit a lot more effectively. And if you, uh, even with going for the exhort build, look at Invoker's damage: forty-three plus nine. It's really quite low. And this Queen of Pain has not gone for a damage build, and she still has a crap load of damage and the illusions. Oh, if you're going for off lane, a Queen of Pain, Tangos help you a lot more than the Souls. So this is quite expected, his item build for the off lane. Especially against Invoker. He's never going to just burst you down at the early levels. Yeah, and Invoker is going to build a Tranquil Boots for this. They block the camp. It's now being de-warded. They're not really protecting that ward at all. They're just going to let it fall. And Chin already copped up two homing missiles. <laughs> I think three, uh, three homing missiles from Eevee. <laughs> oh no, two. Oh, he's not taking any points of rocket barrage. He's going for the early flat cannon. I assume he'll take one at level three. Homing missile is mm. very expensive to use. To see, you really can't spam it unless you're bottle crowing. I you're getting ruined. think the reason he's doing this is because he's doing he's in the mid lane and there's not much room for him to chase up and use the rocket barrage. And he just wants to do it safely farm. He wants to just safely farm and use the homing missile to harass from far range. Well, as long as Mag is getting some... Mag should have the advantage going to those runes, I think, for the most part, with Skewer. And he can also Bottle Crow as the Queen of... Well, Biobus may need the Courier, but I don't think he will against Invoker too much, so... Mm, I don't really think I the think Flat he... is going to prevent the Mag from farming at all. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be too much of a hassle for him, since he can Bottle Crow if he wants to. And Flat Cannon is not that damaging early on. Well, it does give him more punch in the mid-game, and... Oh, the Shadow Demon's in... No, who's in trouble? It might be the other way. Oh, nice Fissure. And then That's they still go to Life Sword. There's a... Oh, the Sun Strike is Sun coming. Strike. Nope. Iron Cannon's gonna miss. Then the stun does hit. They're gonna get Jotan anyway. One more auto attack. There's your first blood. Kimo's still running. Kimo gets blocked by his own life Just a tiny bit. Now the Edict doing some good damage, but the creep is tanking the majority of it. Still the stun hits. Lich in trouble. Don likely to fall here, and it's going to be a fissure oh. that bails him out by Nama. Just able to clarity up enough to do that. A sloppy engage, but MSI TNC does get the first blood on the Phantom Lancer. And of all heroes, the first blood, you want a first blood that carry. Uh, still going on. Another fissure, maybe? No. Well, I gotta say, that's a very big victory for them. And the Nyx, Nyx is slightly out farming the Phantom Lancer. They are gonna deal oh, with the sentry, though. LD, you have to recall me. Have, oh no, this is a bad time. Okay, here comes the Sun Strike after the stun, but it's. Oh, did it, I think it actually just missed there. Yeah, it missed, it missed. Really looked, it didn't hit him. See, I don't like that. It showed the animation over top of the hero, but then it doesn't hit him. It's just very strange. Like it. Yeah, I was saying that you need to restart the Skype call. I'm hearing you, robotic. Now. Okay, give me a call back. Well, while he's doing that, quickly, let's take a look at the solos. And we is winning the middle lane, 16 and 3, really dominating this mag. And the one thing about homie missiles is it's super annoying to have it thrown on you. And now the leveled up flat cannon doing some good harassment. We should see some bottle crowing from Chin. Surprised that he's not yet, but he has gotten the invis rune. As mentioned, with Skira, you should have the advantage of rune control. Even if a homie missile is on you, you can still get the rune, and Gyro, who's not going for Rocket Barrage too early, is it going to be able to burst you down? Queen of Pain, already level 5. Biobus winning his off lane against Jesse Vash, and he's got to be happy about that. Already up to 900 gold. 
This is what you want from that offlink Queen of Pain. This is what normally happens for Pacific when they have a good game. Is Bybus dominates a lane where maybe he shouldn't be able to. Uh, even though it's an invoker who generally is a disadvantage versus Queen of Pain, it isn't. Uh, oh, Winter's calling me back now. Hey, Winter. Yeah, yeah, fine now. Oh, they're diving top lane, Life Stealer. Oh boy, here comes the Sun Strike. It is gonna hit the stun on two. Nama's in trouble. That plus one for the Invoker is just winning this lane, and Nama is running for his life. He's gonna drop one more swipe from those blood soaked paws. And this, oh, from the chains, I should say. Not Ryo. With the phase boots up. Wow, five minute phase boots. He is filthy fat rich. 2300 net worth, and he might even kill the Phantom Lancer here, who does not have mana for Doppelwalk. If Ryo sees this, he's just gonna phase in and get the kill of Jotan, and this is gonna be yet another death for the Phantom Lancer. Sunstrike is up. Oh, they don't even Sunstrike need it. Up. They don't even need it, Winter. This offensive tri lane from MSI working to perfection. Yeah, but the good news for Pacific is Biobus is owning the invoker at bottom lane. He's ahead of denies and farms as well. This is this Pacific always relies on their solos to dominate their lanes. Uh, unfortunately, they're not dominating mid. It's only the one solo lane they're winning. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for the Magnus to dominate a vein hero like Gyro. Well, they went for the early mag, and the one downside to that early mag pick is he's not a lane and dominator. Yeah, here comes the bottle going already, and. I wonder if Biobus would just go for a straight power trades up hole to to further dominate his lane, even skipping the bottle because he doesn't really need any regen now. Yeah, versus Invoker, you're just kind of picking away, Outlast hitting him. You're not really. Oh, he's taking two points of Shadow Strike. I've barely seen him use it though. It is very good against, especially the Exhort Invoker, who normally doesn't take as many points in Quas. But I still prefer a high level on Scream of Pain. You need that burst damage to take him down. And you can and also push the tower very well yeah, versus him. going for a wave at level 6. Usually, if you take 2 points in Shadow Strike, like how Dundee plays his Queen of Pain, yeah. you skip the wave at level 6 and you go for a level 3 fan. Yeah, and then, and then you just max the Scream first and then go back for the ult. Yeah, because of the mana issues. Yeah, the, uh, the ultimate also has a very annoying wind-up. It's really, it, the, only, it, the only reason you want to get it so early is just because it gives you that burst damage, but uh, you get similar amounts of burst, really, from leveling up the Scream, and you can also use it a whole lot more. So... Yeah, now his power trait is up. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna see this Queen of Pain even further dominating the lane. He's already forced the Invoker to go for a Triangle Boots, and usually as Exalt Invoker, it's very popular for players to go for a Triangle Boots now, because of the regen. And that gives him lack of damage. He just needs to rely on those exhort. It damage. All comes, I would like to see. Uh, I'd like to see maybe Biobus try to set up a kill top. And I. I want yeah, he has a TP already. Yeah, he, he does have TP. one. When they go, you gotta and, assume he's gonna react very quickly. Yeah, and he got his ultimate at level six, so I assume that he's really trying to find some openings to help his teammates by getting that early TP and that ultimate. A, t a Queen of Pain that shows up at the right time can easily get a triple kill and completely turn the fight. And now he's about to hit level 8. Once he hits the ult, the engagement happens immediately. Uh -huh. He TPs in. Here comes the Sun Strike. Mag and Queen of Pain are both coming. Cast his trap. He will land a split earth, though, and bring down the Ma. Uh, and well, Queen of Pain comes in. Biobus wants those kills. Ryo wants to invest something. He can't get to the creep, though. He's raged, but he's surrounded. And they will pick him off. The call down is here. There's no rocket for us. There's no follow up to the cooldown. Oh no. OETPs, but did not have the mana I, I for anything else. I don't like the decision making of on both teams. This is not... They don't even need the Queen of Pain to be here to get the kill. They just wasted so much resources, two TPs and a lot of farming time. The Invokers, they, they just allowed the Invokers to get back on the last hits. Well, I think it's fine for the Queen of Pain to come there, but once Magnus already had, then he should definitely stay bottom. Yeah. Only one is one TP is required. Right. That makes oh, sense. Oh, they were gonna see something in the bottom river. Oh, they something could... Something could happen. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesse got no dead. points at Wax. Very dead. Uh, no ghost swap. Very, very dead. And for... <laughs> 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 nice, nice... Well, Nama, playing that's good support. Gonna KS you that said, one. I, I, I deserve that goal, man. I, I'm always supporting so hard. I deserve... Give me that goal. I need, Bam. I need my arcane boots. <laughs> Still, they're gonna get the tier one off of this. That Earthshaker leaving top lane. They sacked the tier one for a kill on the Invoker, and they didn't need the Earthshaker to get the kill anyway. And now it's gonna be Pacific. They're gonna have a tough time, I feel, dealing with the amount of 
pressure that MSI could... They can just leave the lifesteal here, start ganking with the supports. You really don't need to leave three heroes top, and that's trouble for Pacific. Yeah, this is not going well, the trade-offs, like you mentioned. Taking the less favorable trade-off and those decisions... Oftentimes when you watch Pacific, they do feel like a very impulsive team. And, you know, often reacting, it seems like maybe there's less thinking and more just playing with your instincts. Some, sometimes it's just like, you do something, but you don't really think about it because you just want to do it. Like you said, the instincts, but you sometimes your instinct is wrong. And when you take more time to think about your decision, you realize how what a silly thing you just did. Ryo is still free farming. He's going to have the drum soon. And Lifestealer gets very fearsome once he has phased drums. And if we look at this Pacific lineup, there's one way to deal with him, and that's RP. That's it. I guess Frost Armor, but that's not really much. Yeah, Frost Armor. <laughs> Frost Armor helps a lot when it's level 4. It does help, but he's only level 4 Lich. He's not going to have that anytime soon. Oh, they didn't actually see the Lich. There is an RP here. They've got to be careful about the angle. Oh, Kimo gets skewered away. This could be a good engagement. A call down will fly out. The RP catches too, but they need some follow-up for this RP. The Rocket Barrage is doing work. The Lifestyle is still full HP. Don's going to drop. Jotan on the way out. Oh, in the end, the Gyro actually gets picked off. Chin showing. Magnus does a ton of burst, and we see it there, but Chin's now in a bit of a pickle. He's got to find his way out of here, and the Open Wounds is cooling down. There's also a drum charge. Chin looks to be... Even if he skewers, I just don't see him living. There's just no way out for Finn, and he's going to drop. They will get the kill. Jesse Vash almost died bottom, but Biobus actually was not able to finish the kill. Yeah, he just barely survived there because of that bracer. <laughs> and and Biobus is doing something we see Mushi really loves to do in his Queen of Pain, is get a couple of Wraith Ban, or uh, no Talismans, not rather said. than rushing the point booster. Uh, or the BKB. I wonder if he's going to go for the Lincoln's build this game because Lincoln's is... This game is quite okay. You can block off the disruption, and the homing missile and cold snap from Invoker. Yeah. It's not too bad, this game. Basically, the, the, if, if you block that setup ability, then you can blink away to safety. Because it also synergizes with their heroes. They need speed, more speed pushing so that the Phantom Lancer can farm. And Lincoln is just a very good speed pushing item. That spare block and the mana regen gives you a lot of room to farm. Chemo. Do they have TPs to help him? They have three TPs, but it doesn't matter. Whoa. It really doesn't matter. Like... This TP might need to be cancelled. Nope. They're out of mana, actually, in the Queen of Pain. That was like assassination level <laughs> on Chemo. That was, like, that was like using 20 pounds of dynamite to open a door. Just a regular <laughs> wooden just... door. He just got blasted there in front of his tower. <laughs> you know, just a just a just a, a twist of the doorknob will do the trick, but why not blast up with dynamite if you can? <laughs> it's it's more of the timing as well, it's all pinch point perfect. Every spell hit at the right timing and there was no overlapping in the stunts. Biobus just parked on this bottom lane and the other nice thing about the off lane Queen of Pain is it draws the enemy supports uh, as far away as possible from the top lane where the PL is, so that's the maximum amount of distance they have to travel to deal with the Queen of Pain, which means extra space for the PL, even more so than if the Queen of Pain was mid. Yeah, and it's going to be hard for the supports to take down Queen of Pain, because it's, it's just not your standard off laner, where Queen of Pain is very difficult to kill with that blink. Looks like they might be trying to set up something on Ryo. I don't know if they can kill him, even if they get the perfect Fissure timing. Yeah, I don't think mm, they have the damage. I don't they think don't they even can. have Lich ult. He can infest his, his way out of trouble anytime he wants. But they're not pulling, they're not really stacking, they're just sit, leaving the Lich behind the Phantom Lancer. And Ryo's still farming. Oh, maybe not, that's a lot of illusions. But Earthshaker's already rotating around. Oh. Now the Lifestealer goes in on the Lich, and this is what we talked about. Right. They have no way to deal with this Lifestealer, there's just nothing to do. Now he can infest and pop out and maybe kill the Phantom Lancer, although Phantom Lancer is Doppelwalk, so he'll be okay. And now Chin with a haste turn is running back towards mid. Man, if they hit that tier 1 up, oh, oh, he'll be okay. But he's going to have to go heal now. Yeah, he's going to... Uh, but the mid phase, I don't really like it for how Pacific is doing their rotations. and Because Nice is getting so much farm, and the two supports they have can't really kill him like you mentioned. And why not go gang the other lanes instead of not doing anything, just standing behind the Phantom Lancer, and you can't kill the, the Lifestealer there. 
they are just basically wasting all their time. And they have wards, so it's not like the life stealer is going to get ganked without oh, notice. Oh, Kimo's going to get the Earthshaker, I think. Oh, he's not in range oh. for disruption, but he is for demonic courage. And then the life stealer charges in, and the explosive firepower is enough to do the trick. Mag shows up. He's got an RP, but can he find the opening for one? There's a blanket from Queen of Pain chasing Cast, looking for that opening. Life stealer could turn around in a moment's time. He's got rage. He's got the drop. There's a nice skewer RP on two. There's no lich hold now. There is. He just got six. They don't even need it. And MSI getting picked up. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Jesse Vash is going to start pushing with those Forge Spirits. And Queen of Pain has rotated yeah, top. She's going to go for a Black King, bro. Biobus leaves the bottom lane, and now Jesse Vash might be able to get this tower. Does anyone... Nobody has a TP on the tire. A Shaker is heading down to the bottom lane. Well, he can't stop this Invoker by himself. He can delay the push a bit, though. Let's see if he's able to get any backup here. I assume the PL might come down here next. Biobus is wasting a lot of armor. Oh, Sunshine, oh, I just heard Sunshine. Jesse Vash wanted to go in that Earth Shaker. I gotta say, I, I feel like MSI, they've had a couple of Sun Strikes, but Jesse Vash has not quite been on the level of the QMX uh, Bow 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 invoker thus far. Uh, I have no idea who was that invoker the other day, but we we'll just refer him to that Bow Bow Bow. The conspiracy <laughs> theories mount. <laughs> Armlet now up on Ryo. And I'm really... The only way to deal with this lifestyle is for PL to have a bunch Look of items. Look at how badly he's hurting the PL with his right kick. He just hit him two times and he lost 200 health. He's also <laughs> almost immune to any damage that the other team would do. Unless they blow the RP on him. There's nothing that can touch him. Bottom lane, they want by a bus. He's, got, he's going for the BKB or maybe the Aghanims, but probably the BKB with the... BKB, I think it's BKB. Oh, oh Shaker, Shaker smoked up, it's smoke. revealed. If he gets caught, he'll die. Meanwhile, the trap will descend on Cast. That's some good burst. Bayaba shows up. The Scream will get the kill. Now the Sun Strike. Oh, oh that's no, not enough yet. There's the purge. Now it should be. And then comes the Lich Hole. It's bouncy once. It's bouncy twice. It will bounce to the creeps now. Mag joins the fight. No RP. E, e is got a double damage rune. And Earthshaker's on the run. Queen of Pain did buy back, like he mentioned, but just too far away to find an opening. Thinking about it, though, Bybus has the own still. That's why he bought back. He wants Chemo. Well, can he get Chemo? He's got to think about it. He's wrapping I don't around. Think so. I don't think he can get him. Oh, Guava. It's gonna be too late. Guava blinking down to the rune. He's going to go on Iwi instead, but Iwi. Is not to be trifled with. He's oh, he always got a shadow blade. Right, uh, Ewi. Sorry, I keep on mispronouncing it. It's Ewi, but he's got a shadow blade now. Ewi. Oh, that's the correct pronunciation. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> Once again, my friend Ren Dyer's is here to correct me for Pacific Esports. <laughs> it's always nice to have people helping out, <laughs> and you're not sure about certain <laughs> stuff. Yeah. yeah. It, well, everybody helps out. It's either the stream chat flaming you or someone nicely correcting you. But I, we, we like the nice corrections instead. And something we have not really talked about yet, Winter, is later on in this game, we saw yesterday that a gyrocopter with enough items can deal with a PL as long as he's ahead. And right now, he is quite Very far ahead. ahead. 3k yeah. gold. Half of a big item, and it could be more. And he's gone for a, a very strong farming build with max flat cannon. I don't... I don't really like what Jesse Vash bought. He bought a 4 stuff. No Yule Scepter, he, no Blink Dagger. Yeah, he... Usually if you get 4 stuff, you're going for the double force spirit build. Two, 4 points on Quas, 4 points on Exot. So that's the only reason why you get the 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 force the force stuff so you can force in and use your force space to kill them off. But he's going for the full exor build. And usually when you go for the full exor build, you want the combination of meteor and sunstrike to hit and to instantly kill the supports. And that's the, why you get the yules. And the yule sets it all up, but he yeah. doesn't have the yules. And so. he, he he goes for the force stuff, but he doesn't go for the four points in cost and four points in. Four points in oh, exhaust. He's, he's summoned. You... He summoned Sunstrike. They want to go in the top lane. Namaz gonna get top caught lane. and Sunstrike, and then well, God. <laughs> no God. more Nama. Tough he to be a, tough to be a support in this game between Sunstrike and the and the, the Shadow Blade Gyro. Uh, now they've got to buy sentries, which they are doing. There's a sentry down in the middle lane at least, but. Yeah. This is not a and fun game to be a support. Yesterday I was mentioning to you our uh, PTIX Mike. Oh. And he was against the, the, the fight, the exotic invoker by exercise in TI2. This is even worse. This is even worse. Because <laughs> there's also a very angry ghoul on the field. And he's got a maelstrom now. Oh god, that's filthy. Oh my god, how rich is he? 
Even more, even more split pushing I power. Think, is, is he having more net worth than the Gyro? Yeah, fifth, 1.5. Because he's 8, 1, and 5. They have 15 uh -uh. kills he's been in on 13 of them as a tri lane farmer. Why do all these P9 matchups, P9 versus P9, the lifestealer is always getting tons of kills? Needs Yesterday a as well. Him. They clearly don't yeah. know how to deal with them. <laughs> well, it, is working very well in these P9 versus P9 matchups. To be fair, when the P9 teams are picking him, they're almost always picking the Shadow Demon first. And it, without a Shadow Demon on your side, there it, it really limits your options to deal with that life stealer. Mm, because they are not a team. They are not teams that pick something like a Beastmaster to counter. Yeah. Beastmaster is extremely good against life stealer. He, he has the bar and he has the raw to to counteract. The life stealer in the fights. And even the inner beast is very helpful just because it gives your team more physical damage to bring him down quicker when he's rolling. Uh, it's like an all in all counter to not life stealer. I would like I would like to see more beast mass. I also think he's a very f I mean we saw it with Xiao Wei. You just I, aggressive I think control. I've never map. even seen him once in the whole week. No. Am I right? Not at all. He's a very only certain teams like to run him. And in G League we have been seeing him time and time again. <laughs> Well, I, that's changer. mostly because there's an LGD in G <laughs> To be fair, but you're right. I mean, we barely saw. Uh, even VG uses VG gaming. They use. Oh yeah, with SYDM. You're right. Yeah. Mid lane, oh, flank uh, into the RP. Now the skewer back, but Iwi, Iwi's up. Oh. <laughs> oh god. I was gonna say that he has a shadow blade, but there's a sentry ward here. More importantly, there's a billion and one nukes. Just enough. Dyer's top tower the, is the helicopter attack. just de melted in one second. He, he, he needs to go like, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know when a helicopter is crashing? Oh, yeah. Just, no, in, in, no, no. In, Volkov, in, in Volkov, she. They came from, from behind. <laughs> they came from Dyer's behind. And he does this little thing at the end where his voice like trembles. It's so good. <gasps> yeah, and, and, and his, I think his helicopter sort of shakes a bit before he dies. <laughs> so there's some flavor things like that I do miss for my Dota 2. And oh, yeah, oh, right. oh, oh, <laughs> that's just being a dick. <laughs> like you know you're not gonna kill him, but why not? He just has to go back to base right now. <laughs> I'll get us south. <laughs> Je oh, Jesse Vash is a mean man. Uh, I assume we'll go for two points across now. Get those double forge spirits. Mm. We'll yeah, see. there's no. I think he's gonna max oh, up. They're gonna catch and we again <laughs> Again skewered into Echo. Into Look dude. at the life stealer, he's being a boss, he doesn't care. He runs in, he kills the Oshaker. And now he's not done yet. Don does have his ultimate, they've gotta be careful not to group up too much. Oh, they they do group up a lot! Is it gonna be enough? It's not. It looked like a great Lich ult. It seems like it's gonna be a devastating chain boss. Yeah, and then Because there were no creeps there. <laughs> and and Biobus is not going Lincoln's, he's not going eggs, he is going BKB. And unfortunately, I don't really feel this helps so much because there's still demonic purge. The life stealer doesn't really care about this. She mm -hmm. can live through some of the initial stuns, but he's not going to kill anyone on MSI. Certainly not the life stealer, who's the biggest threat right now. Yeah, when I say that the P9 Queen of Pains need Lincolns, they go for BKB. When I say they need <laughs> BKB, they go for Lincolns. They clearly do not like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, they're a mystery. They really are. It's hard to predict, especially in Dota 2, because we're seeing the, we're seeing like the up. we're seeing like the learning process and the the uh, you know the adapting process in action. I guarantee you, in a in a month, even to a tournament or two later, these teams are going to be playing and drafting very differently, especially the ones that are new to Dota 2, like Pacific Esports, who have been practicing it but have not been playing in many official matches and were focused on Dota 1 until the very end of last year. Yeah, the thing is, if you get a BKB, it only helps mainly for if the invoker is going for the use of the build, he heals you. And if you don't have a BKB, you're just gonna die immediately to that sunshine meteor and deafening blast combo. But he's not even going for the use. Look at Ryo, he's up to another 2,400 gold. Okay, let's let's think, let's guess about his next item. I think it's going for a Oh, gear. have you ever seen the SVR ES life stealer? He goes for Mask of Madness uh, Basher. He had the most amazing life stealer game ever in Dota One. So, oh, here comes Jesse Bash with the cold snap, but they don't. No, not able. Oh, they can't. Yeah, his too. His teammates are too far behind. If he had a Yule Scepter, maybe they could get the kill. Yeah, that's why I just I just think that Yule Scepter is just very good. 
for the full Exhort Invoker. And it seems like he's going for the Euro Scepter now, he just got a Void Stone, and he has 2k gold in the bank. The good news, I suppose, is the Phantom Lancer has finally gotten one basic item up. He has his Diffuser Blade, there's a long way to go though. And he's being and he zoned out of the lane, quite hard. Just so hard for him to farm anywhere. He can't lane against the Gyro, he can't lane against the Lifestealer. He just has to hide and farm wherever he can. When he's farming in a lane, suddenly the Gyro comes in and he has to leave. MSI is over 10k gold ahead, they're over 6,000 experience ahead. That's a lot of gold, and we do see it reflected in items. Look at how many farmed heroes they have. Lifestealer is huge. Even oh. the, the Gyrocopter is about to have his BKB and Spoke, the Shadow Blade. Spoke gang, I think. Spoke gang's coming. Probably. After this creep wave, they should. After this wave. Well, Lashrak is showing the smoke, so we'll see a Pacific reaction time. Oh, they showed the four heroes in the middle. This will be very obvious if they go missing. They're going to do and it. Probably gy Immediate gyro. Ping. Yeah, Gyro will just go middle probably to show his face, but I think Pacific know what's going on. Bio they bus, just played, bio they just, the they just placed a sentry in the jungle there. Yeah. Oh, this they could, oh, Shin's up. waiting. He's got the RP, but he's not actually going in. Now they're choosing to back. Blink it. Oh. RP on three. It's the skewer of the buff. No, he doesn't. Look at that queen of pain. All Bio bus delivers in a big, big way. Now Ryo trying to run. Uh, or chase down heroes, rather. On to Jotan. Jotan will melt. They want the Lich. They'll get the Lich. Gyrocopter rains down the pain. And the queen of pain will blink away to safety. And oh, see, sweet. here's here's my problem with the Queen of Pain BKB is you have the BKB, but they they're not killing off the that was a perfect fight, and they just can't kill off the Gyro Life Stealer. They're too tanky. Because the Lich didn't manage to get his uh, chain force off as well. That's true, but but in spite of that, Gyro wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Uh, he he showed up after it with the BKB and was just yeah uh, at full HP. LD, that fight just showed how far behind Pacific is. They got a perfect initiation. They sniped off both the supports right at the fight started. But they still lost the, the whole combat in general. It looks like Jesse's going for a Scythe device, and that will be very helpful against the Queen of Pain. Uh, BKB does but no it's, good for you, it's, of course. It's just normally not what you see, because if you're going for four stuff and straight into the side of ice, like Ice Sunshine does, you go for the double force spirit, it's much more effective instead of the pure Sunshine. Just having some fun there, throwing up. Oh, that's a double. She damage. just throws a sun strike somewhere. Yeah, he just. I think he just gets bored. <laughs> Jesse Vash is an impatient man. He waits for no one. Was it in the Roshan pit? Oh. I no, no, no. It was mid lane. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for Owie to go in mid, but he's not going to. He's got call down, and he's got a double damage rune. This will be very dangerous if Pacific try to fight. This could be a very sad oh, look at this. SK. Oh, oh, that's no, he <laughs> the key! Oh, such strike is good! Oh, just misses it! Poor Jesse Vash. Barely. He's just slightly off the mark with a lot of these. Yeah. What has Ryo but, purchased? To be fair, that's a bit hard to predict because he was blinking around and skewering around, so... <laughs> so still a bit hard to get the sun strike on. It looks like a completed Assault Caress will be the item choice for the Life Stealer. Uh, like I like I said, it would make a lot of sense if he goes that now. Just no one can stand head to head to fight him. He's just going to be such a beast right now. And this also helps you push a lot. The minus armor on the towers, the plus armor on your creeps and your heroes. Very, very good as a pushing item. Yeah, and not to mention the attack speed. Lifestealer, when he has attack speed, he's just going to destroy everyone. Oh, smoke gang. RP on the lifestealer? Yes or no? I'm, yes. I don't no. think they can kill him, even if they RP him. They need the Phantom Answer there as well to kill him. And if they blow everything on the Life Stealer, then all of a sudden Gyro may show up. The gyro will just kill you. Do you want to die by the rockets or the zombie infection? <laughs> I keep on playing the zombie die. and you oh, can- Oh, Oh, <laughs> That's a brutal beatdown. Here comes the engagement though. Chin trying to run away. He will skewer. The rocket's giving chase, but he will blink as well and he'll get away. Look at the Life Stealer. He just walks past the tier 2 tower like it's his tower and he doesn't care. <laughs> well, what are they going to do? The RP is it. That's the only thing they have to deal with him. You can just look at him. Look at him. How is he, he's playing. <laughs> he's just running up to the heroes like saying hi and not doing anything to them and running back. Normally well, normally when we see that, we say someone's being cocky, but this isn't even cocky, it's just, it's this fine, just, it's just fine. 
There's no way they can kill him. Yeah. It's just because the state of, of the, the game. It's just the state of the game, and it's mainly because the Phantom Lancer is so poor. And second thing is because of the draft as well. They don't have anything to deal with the life stealer apart from the RP. Towers taking some eating oh, damage. Look at the, comes the uh, look at the he tries four heroes away. Shot the shot one shot who shot can't shot run shot. is the one who's dead. Even your life gave me an ice <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Did you hear Lit? She's just screaming at it. He's like, rah, rah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Diffusal blade uh, number two is up. <laughs> Definitely worse than Ix my in TI2. More painful, for sure. And the sight device. Oh no, he's gone. I think he's gone back for GM. Or no, maybe not. He's pulled him by support. Yeah, he's gonna have his sight device pretty soon. And Biobus has completed the BKB, but this is an item you build to fight, and they just cannot fight. That's why I felt that Lincolns were helping more with the speed pushing. Because of the state of the game. Sometimes it's also about whether the team situation needs you to do certain things that influence your item build. It's also important to note. Double damage. Double damage picked up by Biobus. He's gonna head top. They may be able to get a tier one I here. Think, There's no glyph. Yeah, I think he needs a scepter as well to be able to deal with the pushers. Just throw his ultimate out off when they are trying to push. That's the only way that they can slow down the push. Sounds right. Oh. Right. His sun strikes are just about harassment, <laughs> not about killing. I, I'm still waiting to see those sports spirits chasing after the lich. <laughs> <laughs> Cold snap, life's their auto attacks, the minus armor as well. This is... She's just gonna die to the fox spirits, and he's gonna be running, running, and then followed up by a random sun strike, and there goes the lich. <laughs> That's how I my died. <laughs> and this is also how you died a life stealer once he gets a basher. That I attack guess. speed is gonna be quite I think this is the most farm life stealer we've seen in the whole event. He's filth and it's he's not his CS is not that crazy. It's 13 1 and 8. It's, it's the kills. kills. Just insane. Well, they have the 23 enough. kills, he's been on all but two of them. Ryo yeah, is playing this, like Ryu yeah. this game. <laughs> you mean the Street Fighter, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we go. They're gonna start pressuring this middle lane. Phantom Lancer's illusions are pushing out top, but the main hero's mid. No pipe, no mech. It may they do have an urn though on chemo. No it's no charges, so it might be a little bit hard to go high ground. There's no pipe and mech. Lifestyle oh, should no. be able to just whack away at the tower. Let's see oh, if he goes the there. Ten heroes. Yeah, there, there's no no one likes the pipe and mag this game. No one's getting it. But I don't really think they need it as, as well. It actually looks like they don't. Oh, Abi, oh. Mag blinks in. That's Abi. a bad blink, and now he's probably in. Nope, he will skewer away to safety. Phantom Lancer trotting around, but the tower's gonna fall. Now the defense gets more difficult. Let's see if Mag can find a better opening in round two. Yep. If they can RP no, the life now, good. he could die. Blink in, there's the echo, now the RP. They just stack them a little bit. Incineration though, they get four. The Aegis is gonna bring one back to life. And then Iwi, Blink PKBs, looks to run away. He's got the ult, but he's just That's running. True. Oh boy, this could be a team wipe right, for man. Pacific. It should be, in fact. Oh, Biobus is not the one with the gem. Oh, so I thought someone had one. Yeah, it's the Magnus who does skewers in. Just misses the Ewi, but there's the long range vision. They have the mana, they have the damage, and Ewi will not be a manly copter today. Well, that Earthshaker blink dagger, MSI was not prepared for that whatsoever. It turned out the Earthshaker had a dagger there, and even though the RP just hit two heroes, oh, the, the Echo Stem did so much damage with the Sonic Wave. The chain force even just hit one target, but they still team wiped them. Yeah, and I want to point out there's a sentry ward here on the high ground, and they had the gem, so they made sure that there was no vision on the sides of the mid lane. So the Earthshaker, the Earthshaker was hi hiding behind the trees right here, outside the tower. And he came from... He came from behind! <laughs> uh, well, Pacific, all of a sudden, showing some signs of life. Oh, what's... <laughs> I gotta say, did you, see that? did you see that? Yeah, he tried to skewer the tower. <laughs> uh, well, that really should not have happened. The team should not have grouped up like that. The lifestyle should be in front, the gyro off to the side, and the rest way behind them. Just waiting behind. As long as the RP comes in, the disruption will be there to save his teammate. Yeah. There's nothing much. Just bad positioning from MSI. Uh, just... 
It was just very bad. They were just... I don't know if it's just overconfident because they're in a huge lead or they just made a bad mistake there. I still think it's their game, but if they lose one more big fight like that, then Pacific is going to suddenly be way back into it. Do you know what, LD? What? The refresher op is already halfway out, so oh, it's, it could be dangerous the for the clock life is here. ticking. And the heart's coming next. He's only a thousand gold away. They do have life stealer though, so even with this heart, it's not a full solution. Life stealer can still bring you down very quickly, even with the heart of Taras, because he has. Uh, 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 yeah, the percent the percentage goes. If you have a higher health pool, the feast deals more damage to you. And well, the life stealer's not gonna have an abyssal blade though, which I feel is a very important item for them. Oh, they do have the sight device up, and here comes round two. Let's see if they're better prepared. The RP is back up again. What do you win? Cheesy, cheesy illusions look coming at, in to hit them. Look at their positioning. Much more defensive positioning this uh, time. Look at bottom lane. Oh, that's all illusions. Kills breaching high ground. Biobus is waiting north. We have Mag waiting. Oh. Where's that Earthshaker? Oh, there he is. Tower's gonna He's fall soon. Up. He smoked up. He smoked up. They are gonna use the Forge Spirits and the Disruption Illusions to kill the Rex. I'm pretty sure now. They just won't take any chance running up. Very, very safe now. They can also use the Rage. Hit it for three seconds, then walk away. We'll see if they do that as well. No, uh, not doing it. BKB oh, is popped. RP catches them. There's the follow up. The combo oh, is here. Oh, oh Ewe is fanning up, turning the fight around. Where's your wombo combo? Pain galore. And Biobus is now Hex. And we'll drop buyback from the Earthshaker. Mag used the RP. Wow. And this time, he disrupted the life stealer just now when he was RP. That was very clutch. Yeah, and the gyro also got off a call down. Massive flat cannon damage there. And with the BKB, even though they caught him the RP, they just couldn't damage him enough to bring him down. Yeah. That BKB really... This is why you have to go for a BKB on Gyrocopter, because if he lives through any sort of disable, then he turns the fight around in a huge way. And this is without him having many damage items. He's How still not that bad. They got no. They had two, but three buyouts for Pacific that fight. And so they I lost Rex, so it's still a very big win for MSI, even though it looked uh, like a good fight for Pacific. But they sacrificed a lot of gold to do that. And the Phantom Lancer, I believe, was one of the heroes who bought back as well. He is, so that's gonna delay his heart a lot. He he did buy back. Yeah, it's gonna delay his heart. Where's the Nyx, or the, or the Nyx, or the Life Stealer? Bah! <laughs> I hate the name changes. Uh, the Life Stealer is going to have an Abyssal Blade soon. 400 gold, and I wouldn't be surprised if he just go all up and not save any money for a buyback. He just can't be killed already. If they really want to play the safe, they can wait for the next Roche, get that up on most likely the Gyrocopter, and then they can just siege the bottom or top lane again and look to end the game. Or they would do even safer choice. Wait for wait for a satanic from the gyro, and then he can just man up in front. That's a long time to wait. That's probably what six or seven minutes at this point. Yeah, it'll probably be six or seven minutes the, because the rush will be up in three minutes. So if they get the rush and they just wait another few minutes, probably it wouldn't be too much of a delay to it. Phantom Lancer pushing out the top lane. You know, I I feel like. Pacific really needs that other split pusher right now, Winter. You know, Bybus, actually, he's pushing That's the bottom. Right. Oh. Right. Don, poor Don. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> he just got disrupted, slow catcher, and bam. I didn't get this. It didn't play the sound effect for me. I hate when it does that. It did oh, for wow. me. I wasn't looking at cell, but I heard the sunshine and I scrolled around the map and I saw the leech being disrupted. <laughs> Maybe I need to. Maybe it did play, and I need to turn my game set up. But I did not hear a thing. I must be going deaf, Winter. I am an old man after all. Well, Bybus is getting close to a hex, and that can be very helpful against both of the carriers of MSI, who are relying on magic community. But there's still always the disruption, even if you hex that hero. Uh, that's why I always mention that Shadow Demon is such a potent supporter. He's effective overall in the early game, mid game, and even in the late game. Disruption is strong in the late game because of two purposes. The defensive disruption in the late game fights and to copy certain strong carry heroes. Disruption is just such a good spell overall in general. And it's not like his other spells it, are weak. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't call it OP, but it's just a very useful spell in my opinion. That's a lot of things you can do with disruption. Oh, look at the Shadow Demon. I think that's an illusion, yeah, it's an illusion. Uh-oh, he's got to run those illusions away. He doesn't want a new army being created. Army creation, do we see an army now? 
No. Uh oh, Earthshaker's waiting. Oh, and we is gonna get trapped. And oh. He, oh, do they have the gonna detection? Run away. They don't have a gem. No. I think they lost it in the last fight, so they don't have it now. And because the Sonic Wave missed as well, because he used it too late. Yeah, after the BKB came out. Oh, he really wants to get back to the fight. He's gonna salve up a base. The Abyssal Blade completed on the life star. Up to another thousand gold on top of it. You'd love to see something like a heart or after this. So it'll just be impossible to burst down. I think he could probably complete his uh, Mojonia. His, oh, it's it's Mjolnir. <laughs> Mjolnir. I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Yeah, I think it's mentioned in Thor. Maybe I didn't pay attention. Oh, PL Illusion Wars! PL Illusion Wars! Uh, it's getting fun, Winter. After a boring period of the game, the fun is increasing. Now we can watch PLs killing Pacif each other. Pacific can just count on one thing right now. BAM! RP! Sonic Wave or Shaker RP. That's the only thing they can count on in this side. Oh, they, they're still... They, them. they still don't have the refresher either. I thought he, he was very close to it just now. Uh, I think he was one of the heroes that bought back. Yeah, he did. He's just, just ended. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, he did buy out the last fight. And he he lost so much gold from that. He had already 2.5k before the fight just now. And he only has 3k now. We're gonna look to breach high ground here. Urshaker was spotted out. He really should use the smoke soon. The Fissure is gonna catch Chemo, but you don't want to initiate on that Shadow Demon, I feel. Oh, the RP! Oh, he, that was a total whiff he... on the illusion! <laughs> What, what happened? I, he just RP'd a bunch of Shadow Demon PL illusions, I want to say. I That was not what he wanted to do. And now this is probably Rax without that RP. We'll see. They do have the Echo Slam, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, Speaking of... There's, there's one thing he can do now. Send the career out, get his puzzle, and sell the drum, get a refresher. Well, That's only... we'll see if he, he's... There's no way to that secret shop right now. Jesse Vash is kind of play. He could send it all the way around, but at that point, the Rex might be down. Alacrity up on Owie. Owie's got oh, the Manta style coming down soon. He's got the BKB. Oh, Wicked oh, Echo catches it. four. Now the skewer by Kingdom for an RP, says Chin. But without the RP, there is no freaking way they can win this fight, and they're not going to be able to. Jotan's going to have to run. God, if they had that RP, that would have been so much different. Oh, that was an amazing Echo Slam. Catches, I think it caught four of the five heroes there. And then, nope. Well, Winter, that's got to be a frustrating way for Pacific to lose. Yeah, the Earthshaker, I, uh, he's going to be very upset that the man do the RP there. It does happen, even to the best of us, and, well, this is a Phantom Lancer that just can't stand against the PL anymore. Wow. He's, all, he's double the PL's net worth. This is not even an anti match that farms really quickly with the battle freeze. It just kills from the life dealer. He's 18, 18 2 and 10. He's 18 2 and freaking 10. Good lord. Not even a Midas, and he's so fat. <laughs> <laughs> and his CS again is not that great. I mean, it's not bad. It's not like he should have farmed more, but it's, we've seen higher CS. So it just doesn't matter. Wow. Yeah, the kills is just. That the RP kills. really ruined the- I, his, his, his team has 34 kills and he has 18 kills and 10 assists. That's too much, man. To, to be fair to the mag, they w they probably were still going to lose this anyway. I feel even if they want a big fight, but you just never know when things like that happen. Biobus gets caught, and Biobus will blink to the That's right. Dyer's yeah. middle tower is under attack. Nope. No, oh, yeah, yeah, he's coming now! <laughs> oh. Jesse Vash, why you wait so long? Oh, he caught the Magnus Smith skewer with the disruption. Now the Queen of Pain over by us, but he's gonna die momentarily here if he gets auto attacked once. Nope, he blinks, he dodges, the Fissure is protecting him very nicely. GG, well played indeed. And this will be uh, MSI Evo GT who moves on in Pacific. They had a shot to advance, both teams were one and one, but MSI unfortunately were not able to do it. Uh, or Pacific were not able to do it. MSI. They pull out the wind, Winter. Sunshine coming in probably soon. I think it's still on cooldown. No, it's off. Just came off cooldown. Oh, oh. life stealer. Divine rapier. <laughs> look at the, look at them all. He can't even take the creeps. It's time for Echo Slam. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> and he's gonna end oh, this yeah. game real soon. Nope. Gotta get that. Yeah, gotta yeah, get that yeah, rush yeah. first. They it's might not. Oh, look at that leech. Look at the leech. He just took a sunshine. Oh my god, he's dead. 
Oh, he's killing them all with the flash cannon. Oh boy, there comes the mob. Meantime, his team does the Roche on Yeah, Ryo, just, who, who, of course you need to go Roche, but you have to play it safe when you're down, oh, when you're up Mega Creeps. <laughs> they don't even have the buffer Dyer's buildings remaining. Earthshaker desperately trying to stem the tide, but how can he? Man, Dyer's indeed. GG. Say goodbye to Dondi, guys. Unfortunately, he's going home. Pacific Esports. They gave it their best shot, but MSI showing a little bit more experience in Dota 2 and a little bit better drafting overall, I feel, and great execution. Some mistakes along the way, definitely not a pristine performance, but it was good enough today, Winter. MSI advances. They are going to be, this, I think, the second place team in this group, I believe. They're 2-1 and one now. I do know that Pacific is going home. No, it's, it's sad for them. But I hope that they will be able to spend more time playing Dora 2 and hopefully we'll see a better performance from them in the future. Because they are considered the best team in Dota 1 from Philippines. Meanwhile, Neolution International most likely will be the first place team in this group as they're currently 2-0. They're playing BHA, one of the other streams, the uh, Vietnamese team, I believe. And based on the results so far, BHA is 0-2, Neolution International 2-0, probably they're going to be the first team, uh, the first place team. So Neolution International, uh, spearheaded by Ninja Boogie and friends, looking pretty good. Uh, the Pinoy Singapore mix, going to be sec uh, the securing that first place <laughs> in Group D. All right, my tongue's tied, guys. That is going to be our third match of the day. We do have one more match to go. It will be Orange versus Neolution Thailand, and that will... Well, probably just be a formality, but we'll see based on how Group C is going. We have to expect R to be the heavy favorites. Can they secure first place? Most likely yes, but we'll find out soon. I'm LD. He's Winter. We're Beyond the Summit. Stay tuned for more SEA League action coming up soon.